Hey guys, this is MJ at His Truly, locating and educating prodigals at risk in these final hours, moments, nanoseconds prior to the rapture of the church, which we know is imminent. It could happen during this video. I'm back, guys. Um, yeah, I was looking at a magazine. Um, what is a prodigal? A prodigal is someone who only believes that they have forfeited their salvation when the fact of the matter is salvation can never, ever, ever be forfeited. Well, we didn't earn our salvation. Therefore, we can't lose it. We are sealed at the moment of salvation. But anyways, um, I did a video already, but I was actually looking at a magazine rack here at work I'm on my lunch break. And um, just happened to glance over it and the front page said whistleblower. And the Lord, uh, funny, funny as he is, you know, quickened in my spirit that, you know what, we are whistleblowers for him. We are whistleblowers to let other people know that there is an enemy and he's evil. And you know what? He's going to try to get us to think that we need to work for our salvation, that we need to earn our salvation, that we can backslide and, and never, ever. Eternity is not in question anymore after we become Christian. How do you become a Christian? How do you become a believer? The Bible, the gospel is good news. Good news, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. This world needs good news. Okay, that Jesus Christ came to this world. God became man in human form so that you and I could be reborn. Okay, his blood cleanses our heart from all guilt and shame. God cares, beloved. That's why he came. But 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 is that Jesus Christ died. He was crucified on a cross, a bloody cross, a bloody, bloody death. He was buried, and on the third day he rose again. And he's coming back to get us very imminently. We are the bride of Christ. We are the church is the bride of Christ. It's not a building. It is not a building that you sit in and um, sing praises to. Sanctuaries are fine, but we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so God wants us to expose the lies of the enemy. Okay, and I actually wrote something um, in my first book. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Um, that the Lord wanted me to share with you. And I know I can't stay on here long, but this was so exciting to me because Satan has so many twisted lies that he throws in our way. So many. And the primary one is that we can lose our salvation. Salvation can never be forfeited. Salvation can never be lost. And if you are not a believer and you don't, you're not a Christian and you're within the sound of my voice, you need to become a believer. Okay, believe. God made it very, very simple. We are, we are moments away. I don't know when. We are in the season of the rapture at the end of the dispensation of grace. But God made it so very easy. A, admit that you're a sinner in need of a Savior. B, believe that Jesus Christ is that Savior and this world's only Savior. The only way to the Father is through the Son. And C, call upon his name. The Bible says that all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Not some, all. And when we do become born again, the biggest lie is that the enemy tells us is that, ah, oh, you're not saved. Look what you're doing. Look at your behavior. Our behavior never merited salvation to begin with. There was nothing good in us that could have gotten us saved to begin with. Hello? Anyway, whistleblower. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Expose the lies of the enemy. Tell your story and how you've been blessed. Only you know the pain of your prison. Speak, child. I'll do the rest. Warn my prodigals that these lies they've received are weapons shot straight from a demon. Declare that I'm still with them and that I can hear their tender hearts screaming. Speak about my blood and assure them that I'm alive. Tell them, tell them I am faithful and their broken soul I long to revive. Oh, please tell them, child, what I've done for you. Countless little lambs have been seduced and led astray. Point them back to me, dear one. Warn my prodigals who have walked away. Matthew 10, 27. What I tell you now in the darkness, shout abroad when daylight comes. What I whisper in your ears, shout from the housetop for all to hear. <laughs> thought that was pretty good. I thought that was just so exciting. I had to share it. Um, you know, we have an eternal engagement and that's about to happen. We're about to go to the wedding supper of the Lamb. The Bible says that 
when Jesus, when that trumpet sounds, which is going to be imminently, it could happen before this video is over, that the dead in Christ rise first. And we, I believe this generation, who are alive and remain, shall be caught up with them in the air and ever so be with our Lord. And the Bible says to comfort one another with these words. Don't believe the lies of the enemy. You cannot ever lose your salvation. We are sealed eternally. Now, if you've chosen to walk down different roads, you're still sealed. Because nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Nothing. Once you become an heir, once you become a joint heir, once you become a member, a daughter or a son or a daughter of the family of God, you cannot ever, ever lose your salvation. So get that lie out of your head. Because the enemy, if you believe that, he can play with that back and forth, back and forth, vacillate between, oh, you're having a good day, you know, your salvation's good, you're having a bad day. It's dependent upon the blood of Jesus. And guess what? It is finished. It is finished, okay? God bless you guys. Until next time, look up. Be a whistleblower. God bless you.